Welcome to the several nodes product video and today we're going to demonstrate the overview of cluster control. In the cluster control user interface you can see various aspects of the database life cycle and that's uh, deployment, scaling, monitoring and management of these nodes. And you can immediately see that we have a big deploy button over here where you can deploy new clusters or import existing clusters or deploy a single database node. And if I want to deploy a new database cluster, we have MySQL Replication, MySQL Galera, MySQL NDB cluster, and also Embedda, Oracle Group Replication. For MongoDB, we offer replica sets and MongoDB sharded clusters. And for Post Postgres, you have to install a new database node to get a starting point and then extend it by scaling it out with new nodes. Further, um, for the monitoring side, we have a very nice dashboard that gives you a great overview of what is happening in your cluster. You can immediately see what queries are happening, what is currently Galera doing uh, in terms of Galera flow control. Uh, and similarly, you get the similar overview, but then the current snapshot of it per node in this case. At the bottom we have the most important metrics for each and every host, but if you want to zoom in into one of these hosts you can go to the Nodes tab and immediately see that anything is going wrong or going right with your host. If you need to do some sort of actions here, you can uh, either restart a node, you can uh, bootstrap a cluster from one of these nodes, or you can add asynchronous slaves or resync asynchronous slaves from here. Query Monitor um, in the monitoring is uh, basically grabbing all the queries that are running on your uh, database. It's a simple on and off switch, so it's quite easy to enable on your cluster. And it is basically accumulating all the queries that are happening in your cluster and then examining them and giving you uh, statistics over them. Uh, and you can see how many rows are re being returned, what is the response time and uh, how well did the query perform. Under performance we also have things like advisors giving you advice on uh, what is currently happening in your system. Uh, it's giving either warnings, OKs or criticals. Criticals need to be dealt with immediately. Uh, a warning is just something you can improve on your system. Furthermore, we also have database status, database variables, side-by-side -side comparison so you can immediately see if anything is not going right in your cluster. For management, we have backup facility where you can make backups either uh, immediately on the fly uh, and just create an instant backup, either full, incremental or using MySQL dump. Uh, you can also schedule these backups by easily selecting either daily, weekly, monthly, yearly backups and then you can mix and match with your backups. Once you have scheduled these backups, you can find them under the scheduled backups uh, and Underneath you can see which backups already have been taken and what the status is. You can immediately restore them with one click onto one of the nodes of this cluster or even bootstrap the whole cluster from here. Uh, you would also be able to restore an external backup if you have one. Just give the path and it will restore them onto the node necessary. Furthermore, we have configuration management. We import all the necessary configuration files from your cluster, like the MyCNF, the GARPD configuration, or the MongoD conf, if necessary. You can make alterations, save them back onto the database hosts, or you can change runtime parameters immediately using this very simple wizard on multiple hosts. Also under management we have schemas and users and we have developer studio and developer studio is create your own advisors. The advisors that are shown earlier are being programmed in this developer studio environment. It's a simple JavaScript language where you can easily make all sorts of checks and even make your own custom checks if necessary. We have a couple of examples of that on the website and you can search for that. Under log files we have the, the job logs, so anything that happens in the cluster is basically a job and you can see the output immediately from here. Uh, and if you want to know what is happening on the database nodes themselves, you can go to the system logs. We collect all the necessary system logs like the MySQL D log, the GARP D log or the Mongo log. Even if the node is down, you can still read it from cluster control directly. For scaling database clusters, it's the last and final aspect of uh, the database life cycle. That's either adding a node for Galera or adding an asynchronous slave for Galera. 
So again, you can easily extend your cluster with the number of masters or replicas. Uh, for Oracle replication, we simply have add node and you can add an, another asynchronous slave. Or you can add a, a second master in a master master active inactive um, topology. For MongoDB, you can either add a node to an existing replica set or convert a replica set to a sharded cluster if you haven't already got a sharded environment. Once it is in the sharded environment, you can easily add additional shards to the sharded environment, making it an infinite growing opportunity. For PostgreSQL, you have to deploy uh, one single node first, and then you can extend it by adding multiple other nodes, like a secondary master, or adding replication slaves to a Postgres environment. This concludes the overview of cluster control functionality. I hope you have found this informative. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to know anything more in depth, please go to the Several Nights product page on the website. You will find additional videos explaining more in depth what is happening on each and every functionality that we have. Um, and if you want to get in touch with us via chat, there's a chat functionality on severalnines.com.